Coach, this, it seemed like the, the defense once again struggled against quick passes, a lot of slants. They dropped a ton of passes. Yeah. They, are you more concerned about the defense now than you have been or less concerned, or how do you feel? Similarly concerned. Same level of con- – no. No, I, I, there uh, – yeah, we had, there were a ton of drop passes. Um, part of, a couple of those balls were deflected. A couple guys were, you know, guys bearing down on them. Those, those are good things. But, yeah, we had a couple – no question, we had a couple uncontested – Drops and even the the uh, the first pick was an overthrown you know guy that guy's going to convert for, convert and, and get some yardage on the on the on the play but you have to you know have to play the whole play and, and finish finish we ran to the ball a little bit better um, uh, in the quick game you know of 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 guys finishing the play and, and getting three four guys on the ball I mean and then that one uh, you know the slant we have three guys at the point of attack and. And we we whiff, and and so that's just a, a technique thing that that will clean up and coach up and and go forward. But uh, you know, offensively, we need to to complement those things a little bit better, and and I think that would have really highlighted a, a a better defensive effort. And and again, we have a ton of ton of room for improvement in all phases. We've seen flashes of Devin Allen in the past couple of weeks. How close are we to seeing him play a pivotal role in this offense? <laughs> That's a great question. I don't, I don't know is my long an- or short long answer. Um, Devin's you know working working back and and uh, you know he's he's in when he's in there he has a chance to make plays and then just depending on the coverage you know that they're they're in or or the play we have called uh, may or may not get it. You know it's just kind of the luck of the draw at, at wideout. You know there are very few plays that we say hey throw it to Devin Allen period you know there's there's very few plays like that even if you say throw it to Devin Allen they trip you know double him or triple him just depending on how it is uh that may or may not happen so um he's getting healthier and more confident and that's those are the most important things Front right, coach you mentioned that you guys need to work a little bit more on discipline especially when it comes to, to penalties and how some of those mistakes can become compounded especially it seems defensively I mean how do you go about that as a coach, cleaning those things up, getting that through to your players as uh, you enter Pac-12 play? You just coach the heck out of it, and you know we try to co- you, you're trying to create as much uh, confusion and discomfort in in practice, and that's that's hard to duplicate uh, fourth and one on the you know on the one with a 300 pound guy lined up across you, you know, and the crowd going crazy. That's that's hard to duplicate. Um, uh, can we not jump off sides on, on, on as a as a as an outside guy on punt team? Absolutely. You know th- those those things are the ones that kill you. Or the roughing the passer didn't you know just looked unnecessary. There's so, you know there's sometimes where we're roughing the passer is an effort, an effort play. Um, I'll have to look at that again, but we'll see if that was the case. Uh, but you coach it. Left over here, Joseph. Yeah. Uh, less than uh, right here. Less than a year ago, Taj Griffin, you know, tears his ACL. You know, today he finds his first career touchdown. Uh, what are your thoughts on his week-to-week progress and just, you know, him scoring his first touchdown? He has, uh, yeah, he just has a ton of potential. You know, and that 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 kid is is, uh, I mean, he's he's scary good, and then he's scary. Hey, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> and so trying to trying to limit the what the heck are you doing uh, as much as possible. Take care of the football is a huge deal for him. You know, even on the non-touchdown. We just we don't want him reaching the ball out, and you know Cam already got got him that before he got to the sideline, and and uh, he the sky's the limit. You know he's a very talented guy, um, and he's he has he's totally scratching the surface on how good he can be. Down Allen in there, right here on the right, Andrew. After uh, three weeks, three games, what have you learned about this team that you didn't know leaving fall camp? Oh man. Um, they're, they're, you know, they're they're a competitive group. They're a resilient group. Um, was really happy with how they responded from to last week. Um, I think they respond to challenges pretty well. Um, you know, we'll still be challenged differently and 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 more as as we go forward in, in conference play and battle whatever you know nicks and dings and and the ups and downs of that that deal. But they're they're a great group to be around. They work their they work their tails off love i love you know just love the group of guys that they are and uh we, they know they have a ton of ton of improvement to do and we're in it together back right way back after the eastern washington win there was a lot made up about the kind of the effort on the defensive side what did you think about your defense's effort today effort's been better in the last two games it it, it has really has um you know and again that that's non-negotiable 
that, that we're going to play hard in every phase. And, you know, you're always going to miss tackles. You're always going to, you know, make a mistake here or there. But effort is non-negotiable. And our guys know that. And they, they've, they've rallied around one of another. They've coached each, each other on that as well. And it's been, it's been better. But, you know, you're always, always searching for, for a little bit more. Rodney Hardrick is in the uh, confessional area. Aaron, I've got a front left. I should be in the confessional area. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, this was uh, Jeff's first start, but he's been in this program. This is his fourth year. Did you expect him to play better today? Did you expect more out of him, or were you happy with his performance? I, you know, I'm hard on quarterbacks, period. Uh, and and you know, I expect Jeff to play perfectly because I've seen him do. You know, I've seen him do so many great things, and and. That involve that, that's an eleven man deal, an eleven person deal to to play great as a quarterback. And if the right guard misses his block, that's not on the quarterback. But the quarterback has the ball and has to make us right. And sometimes again, that's thrown it away. Sometimes that's tucking and run. Sometimes that's taking a sack, um, whatever it may be. And and uh, we have a ton of confidence in Jeff. Um, and and you know we'll see going forward what happens. All right. Really sorry. Um, if, if you were asked this before, and I may miss it, but Braylon and kind of that wildcat, just kind of his talents and and kind of what you see in, in putting him in there, and kind of he made a pretty good decision. It looked like on the on the Griffin one in terms of timing. Yeah, Bra you know Braylon was a high school quarterback, and we we love those guys, uh, versatile, tough, smart football players that that uh, you know. Uh, play quarterback oftentimes in high school your your best athlete is your quarterback and you end up moving those guys at the college level we've had a ton of guys in our program that, that fit that uh and so just a guy that can can create a lot of of uh of liter literal options for us going forward last question right here aaron cool. sorry. do you expect vernon to be back next excuse me do you expect vernon to be back next week <laughs> it has to be asked. I know what that's, you're going to say, but it has to really, be asked. That's a rookie mistake. It's a rookie <laughs> mistake. Everyone here wants to ask it. You look very nice today, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. All right, thanks.